Okay, now uh, since Jiu is not here, it is going to be 2 versus 3. And today the winning team will receive 20 class dojo points or 10 stamps for special yummy or minus one homework. Okay, does that sound okay? Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, so, page 78, we'll start with Liam today and we'll go in uh, Daniel's direction. Number one, inside a house is? Indoors. That is correct. Number two, the part of a person that thinks and feels? Daniel, it is? Mind. That is correct. Everybody point to your mind. Where is your mind? Here. Here and here. Here we go, right? Here and here. Jack, number three, right away. Right away immediately. Very good. Guys, everybody repeat after me, please, one more time. Immediately. Immediately. One more time. Immediately. Immediately. Very good. Dennis, uh, number four, a long, narrow line of color is? Correct. Very good. Number five, to think that something is true is? Fit. Very good. Number six, to call someone to fall is? True. That is correct. All right, moving on to fill in the blanks. Number one, where is it? Demand is true. Very good. Demanded is correct. So, when you demand something, how do you say it? Do you say it in a rough way or do you say it in a, in a, in a soft way? How do you say it? Rough in a rough way. way. Where is it, right? You're demanding. What kind of people demand things? Burglars. Burglars. Like when they try to steal a bank, right? Yeah. Or rob a bank. Next, number two. Um, police officers too, right? Mm -hmm. They demand uh, to criminals about what they need, right? All right. Uh, next, Jake. Not Jake. Jack. Quickly, Jake. Tor. Tor. Yes, tour what? Open the lid. That is correct. The answer is tour. Check, please. And next, that is number three. Eventually, he found them at the, at the end of the show with the speaking of both to each other. That is correct. The answer is eventually. Now, Jack, you're leaning on the desk too much, so it's very, very loud. Push your chair in, please. And don't, don't lean against the wall, okay? Uh, don't lean against the desk. Just, uh, yeah. Okay, it's very loud. I need to get a new desk. It's very old. All right, next, Jay. Jake. Oh, Jake. Uh, four. Number four, Jake. Wait. Oh, I didn't write only four. Oh, you didn't write only four? Oh, okay. Uh, but what did he do? He threw mm, his soccer bag behind him and went to his room. He. I drew rest. Uh huh. Soccer bag. That is correct. The answer is drag. All right, number five. Shh, shh, shh. Jake felt his heart beating faster. Yes, and number six. Daniel, are we celebrating something special that is? That is correct. Here we go. Check it, please. All right, now hold on one second. Let me go ahead and write down your names. Okay. <laughs> go ahead and play rock paper scissors real quickly, and choose your team orders. All right, here we go. You guys do it ready. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. All right, when do you want to go? First, second, or third? One. First. First. Okay. <laughs> Dennis, what about you? Second. Okay. That means Daniel will go last. Who's going first? Jay. Jay. All right, and then Liam. <laughs> now go ahead and think of a team name and a team action. Today's topic is uh, yes, superhero. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, the crazy hey. camera. Ah. The crazy camera. Go yes. ahead. The crazy camera. Five points for uh, best team name, team action. Bubble. Okay. Speech. 
Bubble. And what? What's the uh, team? Uh, bubble. Yeah. That's a really big speech bubble. Um. What about this speech bubble? Speech bubble? Okay, so team speech bubble, your team action is this speech bubble? Okay, alright. Uh, what about you guys? Actually, let me pick randomly. Jack, I like the team name. Okay, not you. How about Liam? Team name, please? Anything, anything is fine. Have a happy Halloween. Bad feeling? Well, that's nice. Okay, how about Jay? Name, please. Bad, bad feeling. Bad oh, feeling. Okay. He, he is very good. Bad oh, feeling. Oh. And uh, the team action is what? Bad, bad feeling. Bad feeling. Bad, so, bad feeling. Bad feeling. Okay. Ooh, bad feeling. Okay. Bad feeling. Oh, how about this? Bad feeling. Bad, 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 bad feeling and speech bubbles. Okay. But I think speech bubbles is a much better team name. I'll, you get, I'll give you guys five points. <laughs> Okay, now, guys, for uh, this page right here, page 78, raise your hand if you got everything correct. Oh, all right, so let me go yeah. ahead and get Team Speech Bubbles. Five points. All right, it's okay. Now, listen, again, the winning team today will receive 20 class Dojo points or uh, 10 stamps or special yummy or uh, minus one. You mean next homework. Well, Friday's homework we have Unit 9 Review and um, two online homeworks, okay? Unit 9 Review and two online homeworks. But we're going to play our first activity, the Golden Bell. Uh, everybody close your books, please. Hammer. No, we don't need hammers for this. Mean? Cold. 
to come to a place. To come to a place, okay? So you arrived in JLS before 4 o'clock, right? Yes. Okay, two points for team bad feeling. Good. Next is for three points. Yay. Ready? Yay, yay. Used by people with high skill. Oh, not this. No. Wrong. P R O F E S S I O N A L is correct. Everybody oh, repeat oh. after me, please. Professional. 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 Okay, used by people with high skill, like professional hikers, hike the Grand Canyon, right? Yeah. Let's read this together, please. Ready, go. It's the professional boy you asked for. Aren't you going to? Here we go. Okay, three points. One, two, three. Next is for four points. Ready? He took out his new soccer ball and showed his mom some of the mm he had been practicing. Jay? Just hold it up. Jay? Wrong. Because you're missing one letter. Some. Okay, what's the answer? T R I C C K S? That is correct. Here we go. And everybody, please repeat after me. Tricks. 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 Guys, what does trick mean? Oh, clever. And? Action. Here we go. Let's read the sentence together, please. Go. He, he took out his new soccer ball and showed his mom some of the tricks he, he had been practicing. practicing. How many points is that? Four points? Yes. All right. So one, two, yes. three, four. Oh, you guys are already tied. Come on, team. Speech bubbles, you gotta hurry up. Alright, next is for five points. Even though the new boy was a good soccer player, Jake did his best to mmm him. Talk to me, Liam. Yes? Oh, hey, Daniel. Keep talking to me. Keep talking to me. Talk, talk yes, to me. Oh, ask me questions. Hello. Oh, Daniel, how are you? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh. To pay no attention to. Oh. What's the answer? What is it? Ignore. And the spelling is what? I can't read that. I Q. I G N O R E. That is correct. Very good. Everybody, please repeat after me. Ignore. 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 Guys, what does ignore mean? Oh. To pay no attention to. Yeah. If you don't pay attention to someone, you are ignoring that person, right? Yeah. Let's read this together, please. Go. Even though the boy was a good soccer player, Jake did his best to Yes, okay, Jack, you're finally reading. You have to read together every time. Okay, so five points for Teen Speech Bubble. Next is for six points. Ready? Jake didn't like the mmm that the new boy was good Jake. at soccer. Oh, All right, yes. that is correct. What is the answer? Okay. Here we go. The spelling is M A C T. <laughs> Guys, what does fact mean? Something that is true. For example, Johnny is an English teacher. Is that a fact? Yes. yes. But no. What about this? Oh, it, yeah. what? It's a fact, right? It's true. But what about this? Johnny is the best English teacher in the world. Is that a fact? No. No? Oh, yes. Yes? Okay, but no, it's not a fact. It's not a fact. It's an opinion, right? Not real. Some, well, <laughs> it, can, it can be real we to some people. Know. Nobody knows, okay? Yeah. Some people can think that. Some people can think not that, right? Yes. Okay, let's read that together, please. Go. Jake didn't, didn't like the fact that the nearby was good Okay. Jack, read correctly, please, together. All right, now, six points, right? Yeah. One, two, oh three, four, gosh. five, six. Why Next is know? for seven points. <laughs> Next is for seven points. Uh, to cause someone to fall. Yes, that's correct. Right. What's the answer? Oh. There we go. It's spelling is T-R-I-T. All right, Jack, hush, please. All right, guys, what does it mean to trip? It means to... To cause, cause someone to fall. To cause someone to fall. You stick your leg out and then they what? Trip. They trip. Let's read that together, please. Go. He, he tried, tried to trip him and, and make him fall. fall. Alright, how many points is that? Seven points? Yay! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Next is for eight points. Here we go. 
Surprisingly, the bubbles and the words had oh. No. Oh, wrong tense. Correct tense. Here we go on it. What's the answer? You're wrong though. You're wrong. What is it? Disappeared. Yes, it is disappeared, but you have to write in past tense, had disappeared plus ed. Everybody here. Huh? You're wrong. You didn't add ed. Class, everybody repeat after me. Disappeared. 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 Let's read it, please. Go. Surprisingly, the bubbles and the words had disappeared. There we go. How many points is that? Eight points? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. King, bad feeling. Uh, I, I have a good feeling that you're going to win today. All right, here we go. Ready? Not interesting. All right, yes, that is correct. What's the answer? How do you spell that? I can't read it. B-O-R-I-N-G. That is correct. Everybody repeat after me. Boring. 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 Let's read this together, please. It's the most boring place on earth. Here we go. Now, let me go ahead and give Team Bad Feeling nine points. One, it's two, okay. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Oh, no, nine, nine. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, yes. <laughs> Four. Okay, now let me ask you. Tell me one thing that you think is boring. What do you think is boring? Yes, Jack? I think boring is mom say. Mom say? Mom say talk a lot. Oh, when mom talks a lot? Okay, so let's say this. I think when mom talks a lot. I think mom. I think when mom. Talks a lot. Talks a lot. It is. It is boring. Okay, very nice. Anybody else? Jay. Yes, Jay. What do you think is boring? I think hospital is the most boring place on earth. Oh, you think the hospital is the most boring place on earth, Jay? Right? Yes. Why? Why is the hospital boring? Because of in hospital of very many people in hospital uh -huh. and waited, waited. So long time. Yes. Waited so long time. Okay, such a long time. Such a long time. So the hospital is the most boring place on earth for you because when you go, there's so many people and all you have to do is wait, wait, wait yes. for a long time, right? Yes. Okay, good. Anybody else? What's the what do you think is boring? Tell me one thing that you think is boring. Yes, Dennis? Uh, I thought I think I think uh, when I think I I come, come school. Oh, go to school? Okay, so you can say, I think school is? I think school is boring place. Or just boring. boring. One more time, I think? I think school is boring. Okay, you think school is boring. Why is school boring to you? Because mm, study too loud and I sleep and very boring. So studying makes it makes it boring. Yes. Okay, very nice. All right, here we go. Next, ready? Okay. Don't stay, mm, Jake. It's such a lovely sunny day. Oh. Wrong. Okay, you two, wrong people. Oh, actually, you're wrong. Yes, Dennis, that is correct. The answer is. Indoor. What is it? Indoor. Yes, and the spelling is I N D O O R S. Ah, that is correct. You're wrong. You're wrong. E doors. Ah. All right. Here we go. Everybody, repeat after me. Indoors. 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 Can we read that please? Go. Indoors. Don't stay indoors. Jay. It's, it's such a lovely sunny day. Yeah, okay. And what does indoors mean? It means? Inside of us. It means inside. So right now, where are we? We are? Indoors. We are indoors. Right? Where are we? We are? No, no. Where are we? We are indoors. We're indoors right now. We're not outdoors, right? Yes, we We're indoors. Okay. So, who got this correct, Dennis? And that's 10 points, right? Yes. Oh. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh. ten. Oh. All right. So, Team Speech Bubbles have taken the lead. Here we nice. Go. Next. The ability to wait for a long time. Oh, this, I know. You say this. Oh. Mm, my dear, it's a surprise. Jay? 
Yes, the answer is... Rangers. That is correct. The spelling is P-A-T-I-E-N-C-E. -E. Very good. Everybody repeat after me. Patience. 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 Let's read this together, please. Go. Grandma smiled and said, Patience, my dear. It's a surprise. Okay, so what is that? 11 points? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now, let me ask you. What is something that you need patience to do? The ability to wait for a long time. Okay. Okay. Yes. One more time. You need. You need. I need. No, no, no. You need. You need. Patience. When you go to the hospital. But say it. Say the whole sentence. You need patience for. When you. When uh. When. Uh, you, you, uh, you need, you need patience when you go, when you go to, to the, the hospital. Why? Why do you need patience when you go to the hospital? Same, same like they. Okay, and what is that? Because? Because waited so long. Why do you have to wait such a long time? Because many people want to get treatment. Yes. Not yes. Treat. Get treatment. Yeah, very good. Because many people are there waiting to get treatment. So you need a lot of patience when you go to the hospital. Very good. What else? Yes. You need when you go. You need what? Patience. Yes. When you go finish the class. When you finish the class. Yes. Why do you need patience when you finish the class? Because class is very boring. Because class is very boring? What? My class is very boring? No. School. Oh, school class. <laughs> oh, okay. So you need patience when you are in class, yeah. in school, yeah. because class is boring. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> One more. Mm. Yes, Jack. I am patient about. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, about the. Uh, bus, bus time. Bus, bus time. time. Oh, when you're waiting for the bus. Okay, so let's say this. You need patience when you are waiting for the bus. Okay, yeah. When you need patience when you're when you're waiting for the bus, especially when the bus is not coming until maybe like 10 or 15 minutes, right? If the bus is coming late, you need a lot of patience. Very good. All right, here we go, guys. Okay. That's it. All right, that is it. Everybody, let's go ahead and check comprehension review, please. Okay. Now, Mr. Liam, can you grab the uh, whiteboards? Can you grab the whiteboards and put it in the bag? Mr. Daniel, can you grab the erasers, please? Okay. Markers, please. Okay. Okay, thank you, Liam and Daniel. Okay. Dennis, throw me the marker, please. Throw? Yes, throw it. Throw the marker. Throw it. Throw it. Wow. Oh, oh, it. When you throw, you throw underhand. Uh -huh. Underhand. Right. Yeah. All right. Teacher, so I'm very very good throw. Eight, huh? I am very very good throw. No, uh, that's long English. You say I can throw well. I can throw well. Yeah. All right. You can throw well. Yeah. We'll see. All right. Let's go ahead and check comprehension, please. <laughs> hey. Crazy. Let's see. We're gonna start with uh, Dennis this time, Dennis. and we'll go in Jack's direction. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Dennis number one. Who gave Jack the present that he wanted? Dennis. What is it? One. That is correct. The answer is one. Dad. Who can lead this yes. party? All right, you three, ready, rock, paper, scissors. Huh? All right, go ahead. Dennis gave Jack the present. That he wanted. Perfect. Let's read that oh. together, please. Ready, go. Dad gave the present that he wanted. Very nice. Good sentence. Good grammar. All right, number two, Jack. What was at the top of one picture on the camera screen? For the two bubbles. Yes, the answer is for two bubbles. Who can read that in a sentence? You two, ready, walk for scissors. Scissors, scissors. All right, go ahead, Jay. The two bubbles. Not was, because two bubbles is plural, so not was, but two bubbles, uh, 
We learned this. War, 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 at the top of our teacher on the camera screen. Perfect. Very good. All right. So guys, the subject two bubbles. It's not singular. It is plural. Correct. It's yeah. third person plural. So which past be verb do we use? Not was, but were. Were. Let's read that together, please. Go. The two, two bubbles were at the top of one picture on the, the camera screen. Very good. Okay. Did I give you guys a point? Did I give you a yes. point? Yes. Okay. Here we go. Number three, Daniel. Uh, who did Jake's family visit every single Sunday? Two grandma. That is correct. The answer is two grandma. Who can read this? Hey, hey, hey. All right. You four. Ready? Say your name, please. Ready? Jake. Rock, paper, scissors. All right, you two, rock, paper, scissors. All right, go ahead, Jake. Jake's family visited Grandma's house every single Sunday. Okay, it's not Grandma's house, just Grandma every single Sunday. That is correct. Very good. Class, let's go ahead and read that together. Now, uh, who is the subject? Grandma. Grandma. No, no, no. Uh, Who's the Jake's subject? Family. It's Jake's family. And what did Jake's family do? Visited. They visited Grandma. every single Sunday. But who did they visit every sun every single Sunday? Grandma. They visited Grandma. All right. So let's read that together, please. Go. Jake's family visited Grandma every single Sunday. Whoa. Time. Please go. Jake's family visited Grandma every single Sunday. All right, moving on to number four, Liam. What did Jake realize about the camera as he stared at the messages? Three, he realized, realized it was trying to tell him something. That is correct. Here we go. The answer is three. Now here, look up here, please. So right here, when you read it in a full sentence, you would read it like this. As he stared at the messages, Jake realized the camera was trying to tell him something, right? Uh -huh. What is it? The camera. The camera, right? Yes. Okay. And who's he? Jake. 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 Okay, so Jake realized the camera was trying to tell him something as he stared at the messages, right? Yes. So let's read that together, please, loudly. Okay, Jack, you're not concentrating right now. Okay, I'm going to ask you again how to read it, okay? I'm going to ask you again, just you. Let's read this together. Ready, go. As. Yes. One more time. As he. Go. As he. Again, raise your hand. All right, you, you five, ready? Rock, paper, scissors. All right, you two, rock, paper, scissors. All right, go ahead, Liam. As he is stared, stared at the messages, mm -hmm. Jake realized the camera was trying to tell him something. Perfect, very good. Good job. All right, here we go. Number five, Jay. What did Jake decide to do for his family on Sunday? Two to make pancakes for them. Okay, very good. That is correct. The answer is two. Now, guys, look. Uh, who's he? Jake. Yes, so Jake decided to make pancakes for who? Family. family. His, family. His family. When? On Sunday. On Sunday, right? Who can read that in a full sentence? All right, you three are ready. Rock, paper, scissors. All right, go ahead, Dennis. Jake decided to make pancakes for his family on Sunday. Perfect. Here we go. Let's read that together, please. Oh. Here we go. Starting right here, Jake decided to. Ready, go. Jake decided to make pancakes for his family on Sunday. Here we go. Number six, Dennis. Why didn't Jake tell Grandma that the shoes were the wrong size? Three, he knew she had tried her best. That is correct. The answer is three. He knew she had tried her best. Who can read that in a full sentence? Okay. All right, you three, ready, rock, well, paper, scissors. All right, go ahead, Jake. Jake didn't tell Grandma that the shoes were the wrong size because he knew she had tried her best. Perfect. Very good. Let's go. Let's go ahead and read that together, please. Ready? Go. Jake. Jake no, no, no. Jake didn't tell. Go. Jake didn't tell Grandma that the shoes were the wrong size because he knew she had tried her best. Very good, that is correct. So, uh, did everybody check their answers? Yes. Raise your hand if you got everything correct. Uh huh. Oh. 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 How many did you miss? Oh. One. One. Oh. 
Maybe to you too. Hold on, hold on. All right, you know what? I can't do this because uh, let's not do this today because Gio is not here. Okay, no. it's not fair. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and turn the page. Turn the page. Uh huh. We're on page eighty now. Not this What? Uh, everything right for ten points. Everything correct? Ten points? Yes. But we can't do that because, yes, there, are, because there are only there. two people yes. here and three people here. Okay? All right. Page 80, please. Number one, I believe it is uh, Dennis' turn. Yes? Oh, is it your turn? Yes. Uh, Jack, number one, what did Jake point and laugh at? Matt's shoes. Yes, the answer is two. Matt's shoes. We can read that in a second. You three, ready? Raw, paper, scissors. Scissors. All right, you two, ready? You, oh, what is that? Oh, Dennis, what is that? Paper, scissors, scissors. One more time, one more time, one more time. Ready? Raw, paper, scissors. Scissors. All right, Jake, go oh, ahead. Yeah. Jake pointed and left. Left? Wrong. Okay. Yeah. All right, you four, ready? Raw, paper, scissors. Raw, paper, scissors. Scissors. All right, Dennis. Jake pointed left. Wrong. Jake? Alright, yes, Jake. Jake pointed and left at Matt's shoe. Very good, that is correct. So, guys, look, we have two verbs here. We have point and left. We have to say this in what tense? Past tense. Past tense. So, it's Jake pointed and left at what? Matt's shoes. Matt's shoes. Let's read that together, please. Go. Jake, Jake pointed and left at Matt's shoes. Very good, okay. All right, Daniel number two, why didn't Matt's parents buy him new soccer shoes? Three, they didn't have enough money to buy him new soccer shoes. Very good, the answer is three. Who can read that in his full sentence? Mm -hmm. All right, you two, ready, rock paper, scissors. All right, go ahead, Daniel. Matthew's parents... No, not Matthew. Matthew, this is just Matt's. Matt's parents didn't buy him new soccer shoes because they didn't have mo didn't have enough money. To stop right there. Okay, so you can stop right here, right? Because they didn't have enough money. Right? Good. We don't have to say to buy him new soccer shoes because we just talked about it in the question, right? Good. So we can stop here. Understand? Yes. Alright, let's go ahead and read that together, please. Ready to go? Matt's parents didn't One more time, please. Together. Ready, go. Matt's, Matt's parents, parents didn't buy him new soccer shoes because they didn't have enough money. Very good. Okay. Next, number three, I believe it is uh, Me. Liam's turn. Liam, why did Jake try to trip the new boy at soccer practice? He tried to trip the new boy and make him fall. Okay, but why? Oh. Okay. Alright, raise your hand. Alright, you three ready? Rock, well, paper, scissors. Alright, go ahead, Jay. Jay tried to treat the new boy at soccer practice because Jake didn't like that. Or instead of Jake, you can say. He yes. didn't like that. Then the fact. The fact. Then new boy. That. That new boy. Boy was good at soccer, and he tried to trip him and make it fall. Yeah, but you said you said try to trip and make the new boy oh. fall. You said that two times. All right, so but that is correct. Jake tried to trip the new boy at soccer practice because he didn't like the fact that the new boy was good at soccer. That's why. Okay, right here. So. If you look at the last paragraph, third sentence, Jake didn't like the fact that the new boy was good at soccer. It's the answer. Go ahead and highlight that, please. Okay? okay. Highlight it. Jake tried to trip the new boy at soccer practice because he didn't like the fact that the new boy was good at soccer. Highlight it. Before time, I'm right. Well, didn't we, to didn't we tell you to just write this right here? Teacher, it's right. It's correct, but can you cross it out? Yes. Okay. No, you didn't have the answer. You didn't have the correct answer the first time either. Um, yes. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't correct. All right. Did everybody highlight it? Yeah. Okay. Why is your hand up, Dennis? I didn't have highlighter. Oh. Now, if you say I didn't have a highlighter, that means you have a highlighter now, because that's past tense. I have many. 
Okay, so it's not I didn't have a highlighter, I... I don't, don't have a... A... A highlighter. Yes, I don't have a highlighter. Do you want to borrow one? Or actually, you can borrow Jake's or Jack's. Okay, alright. Here we go. Can we move on to page 81 now? Yes. All right, page 81, here we go. Uh, I believe it is Jay's turn. Jay, number one, what was trying to tell Jake something? Well, the pancakes. The pancakes were trying oh, to tell no. Jake something? Oh, Jake, Jake. oh, oh that is. Oh. <laughs> For the camera. Yes, that is correct. The answer is for the camera, not the pancakes. They weren't trying to tell Jake something. Oh. All right, who can tell me <laughs> in a full sense of YouTube? Ready, raw paper, scissors, scissors. Scissors. All right, go ahead, Daniel. The camera trying to tell. Oh, Jake. wrong! You forgot the B verb. Jake. All right, Jake, go ahead. The camera, camera was trying to tell Jake something. Yes. Okay. You need to have the B verb in your answer. All right. The camera was trying to tell Jake something. Let's go ahead and read number one in a full sentence, please. Go. The, the camera was, was trying to tell Jake something. That is correct. Okay. All right, moving on to number two, uh, let's see. Jack. Jack, number two, why did Jake decide he had to make changes? He felt a different belt. Felt. Felt. Listen, please. Listen. Felt. 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 Okay. Jake. Jake. Now, Jack, I told you not to lean on your desk. It's squeaking, and the squeaking sound is very loud. Uh, who can read that in a full sentence? Dennis, go ahead. Jack decided he had to make changes because he felt that he had hurt other people's feelings. Perfect. Very good. Let's read that together, please. Go. Jake decided he had to make changes because he felt bad that he had hurt other people's feelings. Jack, read that please in a full sentence. Okay, Jack, that's what I'm talking about. You're not concentrating right now, you're just, you're doing this. Okay? You look hypnotized. You gotta concentrate, Jack. Stop thinking about other stuff and listen carefully. Let's read that one more time for Jack, please. Ready, go. Jack decided he had to make changes because he felt look at your book. that he had hurt other people's feelings. Okay. Jack, look. You start here because that's the subject, right? Jake, what did Jake do? Decided. He decided. What did he decide to do? He made changes. changes. That he had to make changes. Why? Because he felt bad that he had hurt other people's feelings. Right, Jack? Okay, so listen carefully, please. All right, number three. Daniel, uh, why, what did Jake make for, make for Jenny? Jake made peanut butter and jelly on the for Jenny. Perfect, very good. He made Jenny peanut butter and jelly on toast. Or Jake made peanut butter and jelly on toast for Jenny. Alright, check it please. Alright, who can tell me where it is? Alright, Dennis, go ahead. Yes, it is the last sentence of this passage. Go ahead and highlight that, please. Okay, very good. Alright. Now, uh, yeah, we're not going to do the points thing, right? Okay, here we go. Mm, let's
one versus one going though. It's a comprehension activity. The crazy camera comprehension activity. Uh, yes, go ahead and close your book, please. Jack and Jay, walk paper, scissors, please. Ready, walk paper, scissors. Please, Jay, Jay. Alright, let's go. Left one, left or right? Left one, right here? Okay, alright. Right here. Okay. Jack, and Jay, Jack and Jay, can you guys uh, have a seat, please? You guys have 20, 40, oh, what am I saying? 10, 20, 30, 40, 42, right? Oh my gosh. 42. Why, oh my god. Not, oh my god. Not gods. Oh my god. No? Hey. Hey guys. I'll go ahead and start you. 42. Do you here? 4200 dollars. Hey, hush. Is it 53? Okay, so 5300. Oh. Is it $5,300? Okay. Now, listen carefully. Listen carefully. Uh, we're going to start with $100. If you know the answer, all you have to do is write the answer. But when you write the answer, I'm talking right now. Listen, when you write the answer, you have to write the letter and the answer. Letter and the answer. So write the letter and the answer, put the marker down, and ring the bell. Okay? Yes. There we go. Sir. Yes. Your marker. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that what you is that what you were trying to say, Jack? Daniel. Oh, you can't see because of Daniel. Hold on. Um, Daniel. Daniel, do you think you can move a seat? Oh. Here, here, here. Okay. Daniel's not playing right now. Oh. It's not Daniel's turn. Alright, here we go. Let's turn it up just a little bit. Alright, very good. Now, you can read this in a full sentence. Say your name. Daniel. 
Alright, right, you two ready, ready roll. Okay, for scissors, scissors, scissors. Alright, go ahead, Dennis. Happy birthday. Well, happy birthday. Maybe the one more time? Jake's birthday. Oh, Jake's birthday? Who's? Jake, so you need Jake. to have this. Alright, go yeah. ahead. Jake's birthday was going to be better than Okay, so guys, when you say who's, uh, you have to show possession, right? Right? So let's go ahead and, and, and add apostrophe S to the answer and read that in a full sentence, please. Go! Jake's birthday was on Saturday. Very good. Okay. So let me go ahead and give points. One point. One point. All right. There we go. All right. Next. This is $200. It is Liam and Dennis. Jack, go have a seat, please. All right, Liam. Liam and Dennis. Yeah. Oh, write the letter and then the answer. Yes. Okay. And you know what? You know what? No. Just write the letter. Yeah, yeah. Just write the. Yes. Just write A, B, C, or D and then ring the bell. Okay. That saves ink. That saves ink. Here we go. Hold it up. Three, two, one. D. That is correct. Very good. Okay. So guys, what did Jenny give Jake for his birthday? A doll. A doll. We can read that in a full Jenny. sentence. Jenny. Jenny. Go ahead. Jenny gave a doll. Wrong. Dennis. Yes, Dennis. Jenny gave Jake. It's not a question. Jake. Jake for a doll. Wrong. Jake. Next. 
practice. Or roll the dice. 
Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Now listen, if Daniel wins, you, you can steal half of Bad Feelings points. If I win, nothing, okay? I'm a man, okay? And men always do rock. No. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Scissors. Scissors? Then you lose. Okay. So you're lying. It's okay. You're, you're, not, you're not lying? You're gonna do scissors? Okay. Really? Then you're, you're gonna lose those. Bad. Okay, ready? Rock, paper, scissors! <laughs> receive 30 points and a shield, okay? All right, so, uh, let's see, half points. 12,000, 12,800 divided by two is 6,400, uh, 6,400. Guys, 12,800 divided by is 6,400, six, six right? Okay, so, 6,400. Right? Finish. Okay, right there. Okay, finished. Okay, have a seat. Hurry, have a seat. Have a seat. Okay. Hey, and that was for $16,000. Daniel, you got this correct. So, Team Speech Bubbles, $16,000. All right. Alright, yes, the answer is B. Here we go. Alright, guys, how did Grandma get his. Oh. Okay, how did Grandma get Jake's present? She ordered it by mail. Okay, so listen carefully. So you would say this What did Grandma do? She got what? She got Jake's present. She got Jake's present, but how? By not order. By ordering, by ordering it by mail. It by mail. Understand? Yes. Who can read that? All right, you two. Ready? Rock paper scissors. Scissors. Go ahead. Grandma got Drake's present by ordering it by mail. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Oh. Guys, let's go ahead and read that together, please. Ready? Go. Grandma got Drake's present by ordering. By mail. Got it? Yeah, all right, here we go. Now, who got this correct? I think it was William, and that was worth $32,000. Okay, here we go. Next. Oh, okay, yes. Ready? What did the picture of Grandma say? Wrong, correct, everybody. The answer is A. Guys! No, no. The picture of grandma, the picture of grandma said what? I, I wish, I wish, I wish you, you would visit me. me. Yeah, okay, who can read that please? Dennis, Dennis go ahead. The picture of grandma says? Says? says. Alright, you two ready? Rock, well, paper, scissors. Scissors. Oh no? You lose. You lose? Okay, go ahead. No, 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 no. I wish you would visit me more. That is yes. correct. Okay, so let's read that together, please. Go. The picture of Grandma said, I wish you would visit me more. Now, right here, the subjects, I, you, and me, you do not have to change it because that's what it was saying, right? It said, I wish you would visit me more, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay. What? Did Jay read that correctly? Yes. Okay. All right. So, how much money was that for? That was for sixty-four thousand dollars. Nice. Right, okay. okay. Nice. Okay. Here we go. Next. Daniel versus Liam. All right. Yes. The answer is wrong. Yes. The answer is A. All right. Do you 
can't you can't ring it with you can't ring the bell with your board. You have to do it with your hands. Oh. Yeah. All right. Now, who did Jay think was the best player? Aiden. He thought Sam was the best player. Who can read that, Jay. please? All right. Go ahead, Jay. Jay thought Sam was the best player. Yeah. That one's easy, please. That one's easy, right? Let's read that together, please. Go. Jay thought Sam was the best player. Jack, read that, please. Okay, guys, what's the verb? Think. It's think, but you have to say it in past tense, so it's what? Thought. thought. Go ahead, one more time, Jack. Jake thought was the same. Jake thought who was the best player? Sam. One more time. Now, who, who said this correctly? I think it was Jay. Uh, yes. All right, okay. Not you, but uh, your team. Your team. All right, here we go. Next, next, next. Hurry, 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 hurry. Jack, 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 all right, it's fine, it's fine, you can do it too, you can do it too. Miss Young, Miss Young, Miss Young. Alright, hold it up. Yes, the answer is A. Very good. Now, what did Jake do to make mom feel happy? What did he do? He showed her some tricks. Yes, okay, so what? How can you read this in a full sentence? And you would say, Jake, what? Showed. Showed who? Showed mom. Or mom. Okay. Showed Grandma. Mom. He showed mom. 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 Some tricks. To what? To make mom. mom feel to, ma to make who? To mom. But you can say what? She. She. Uh, not she. Her. 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 Feel happy. Feel happy, right? This is a hard sentence, so I'll give three points. Who can read that? Yeah. Alright, you two ready to walk up for scissors. Go! Jake showed. Dennis! Her. Yes, Dennis! Jake showed her. But um, Jake showed who? Dennis! Alright, you three ready to rock for scissors! Jake showed mom some tricks to make mom feel happy. Okay, but instead Dennis. of mom, you can say what? Dennis. Yes! Ah. Jake showed mom some tricks. To make her feel happy. Okay, so guys, let's go ahead and read that together, please. So, Jake showed mom some tricks to make her feel happy. Understand? Yes. Go. Jake showed. Jake. Jake showed mom some tricks to make her feel happy. All right. Okay. Now. Oh, we have a mission. Mission! Oh! Mission! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the survivors, you, you two, you guys have to give five words starting with the letter G within 20 seconds in order okay. to double your team points. It's easy, isn't it? Yeah. Alright.
Okay, that's how much money you guys have right now. Lost. Only lost. Really? Alright, so 967,600 is how much money you guys have right now. Alright, here we go. Give her another haircut. Very good. Number 12, I. I 
I meant one, two, ask. What is it? Is it one, two, ask? Uh, I want to. Wrong, Dennis. What is it? I want you to ask. You. The shoes. Yes, yeah, so it's not want, it's wanted. Wanted to ask about. Alright. Did everybody get that? Yes. Alright, here we go. Let's check page 84. Okay, he wrote it correctly, but he uh, said it wrong. Alright, summary review. Uh, I'll just read the answers. You guys check it, okay? Yes. Okay, so, happy birthday, son, said that handing the box to Jake. Quickly, Jake tore open the lid. T-O-R-E-L-I-D. Jake held the camera to his eyes and looked through the viewfinder. V-I-E-W-F-I-N-D-E-R. Jake took a few pictures of his family. After breakfast, he switched it on. He continued to scroll, page form, through all the photos until something made him stop. He froze, past tense, and stared at something strange on the screen. Blah, 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 blah. Those shoes are stupid. S-T-U-P-I-D. The new boy also had a tough time with Jake, T-O-U-G-H. Jake did his best to ignore him, base form. Jake didn't like the fact, F-A-C-T, that the new boy was good at soccer, so he tried to trip him, base form, and make him fall. When Jake got home, he dragged, past tense, dragged plus G-E-D, his soccer bag behind him and went to his room. He thought about the speech bubbles. I bet it was dead, base form, base form. Next. Don't stay indoors, Jake. I-N-D-O-O-R-S. Uh, Jake decided, past tense, decide plus D to watch hockey on TV. Did you buy me a birthday present? Where is it? Demanded Jake. Demand plus E-D. Well, my dear, I ordered it by mail. Order plus E-D. So it will arrive, base form, tomorrow, explained Grandma. Jake was disappointed. Grandma smiled and said, Patience, my dear. P-A-T-I-E-N-C-E. -E. All right? Yes. Write how much you missed on top. Yes. Write how much you missed on top. Yes. Okay, and we're going to move on. Okay, page 85. As soon as Jake got home, he rushed up to his room and hid his camera under his bed. H-I-D, past tense. Jake felt bad that he had hurt, uh, past tense, but it's an irregular verb, so the past tense of hurt is hurt. Same thing. People's feelings. That smells great, Dad said. Are we celebrating something special? Uh, celebrate, erase the E and add I-N-G. The next morning, Jake received the new soccer shoes. Receive plus D. They were a brand new style, brand space new, with cool red and yellow stripes. S-T-R-I-P-E-S. -E yes, it's correct, but you spelled celebrating wrong. It's not celebrate thing, it's celebrate team. Hey, fix your desk. All right, here we go. The soccer shoes were too tight, T-I-G-H-T. Oh no, said mom. I think grandma ordered the wrong size, W-R-O-N-G. Hello, Grandma, Jake said excitedly, E-X-C-I-T-E-D-L-Y. Okay, she knew her son had done an excellent thing, E-X-C-E-L-L-E-N-T. At lunchtime, Jake looked for Matt and Sam, eventually, E-V-E-N-T-U-A-L-L-Y. He found them at the end of the soccer field, in, at the end of the soccer field. Immediately, Matt stopped smiling, I-M-M-E-D-I-A-T-E-L-Y. Don't worry, said Jake, base form. I'm not going to be rude again, R-U-D-E. I wanted to ask if you'd like a pair of new soccer shoes, P-A-I-R. Is there something on your mind that asked M-I-N-D? Jake felt his heart beating faster, B plus I-N-G. How would he explain the speech bubbles, base form? Surprisingly, S-U-R-P-R-I-S-I-N-G-L-Y, the bubbles and the words had disappeared. Does appear plus ed. Okay, write down how much you got wrong on the uh, on the top of the page, and I want you to pack up and line up, please. Pack up and line up. Okay.